guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 7 to 9 of Bakuman. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 7 and 3, 2, 1, go. There we go. It feels like it's been like 2-3 weeks since I've last watched the show. But <laughs> Yeah, I mean, honestly, it was. You still did a good job. Sorry. So, okay, are we going to, like, just fast forward through them going, like, ending high school, going into college, and then trying again? Uh, yeah, of all the things, baby, sit together. <laughs> to sit by your couch in class we're like oh shit how am I supposed to concentrate when they're right beside me oh uh, god that happened to me like several times in high school um once in middle school and then nothing mm, yeah zero times in elementary <laughs> but yeah in the end nobody really had a crush on me but it's okay <laughs> no actually not a, not any of my friends, but this one kid who went to my mom's school, because my mom went to the school, and I helped her over the summer during summer school, and Ish, and he went to summer school, and he was going to my middle school, and my mom had always told me, um, that the older brother, uh, the older brother told the younger brother to tell my mom to tell me that hey, he had a crush on me. And that he would kind of secretly watch me go do stuff, which was really weird. But I was like, every single time, like, well, where is he? I never saw him. <laughs> oh. First love, right? <laughs> hey, YouTube. I'm trying not to break them, but they're all going to break. Yeah, how is that, you know? <laughs> but then it makes you wonder what she's currently thinking. I mean, for us girls, you know, it depends. over her. So are 
you gonna draw a character that you know represents her in your series? And she, oh, that'd be so fucking cute. <laughs> You love sick baby. You gotta love to say it. Do I smell noodles? Mm. Okay. Mm hmm. This is the one reason why I fucking hate having nails right now. Oh my god. See, once again, you gotta love Akito's like spunk and such. But at the same time, he has to be a little bit realistic. Like, yes, it is a good series, but is it good to win? We just don't know yet. Yeah, I don't think it'll be that easy, though. <laughs> but he seemed like he really liked it though oh are are we going to see him today Damn. Talk about dedicated. <laughs> the thing is how to think if you have a feeling about it good or bad just take it and just give it to him I think he'll nip you in the butt. <laughs> like, okay, if it does win, it, it'll be a fucking miracle. I mean, I, I would love for it to win, but I'm trying to be a little honest at the same time, too, and I can't because you're no bias. <laughs> I mean, how can you imagine if these two sat together? Mm. Oh. It is. Yeah. Hmm. But, okay, yes, you are. But that doesn't mean you won't see each other again. Then you mail her. If you still want to establish a relationship or something with her, you have to take that first step even after you two graduate.
Great job, you made her cry. Now it's just going to be awkward between the two of them, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> yes, he did. It's an asshole move. Because she wants to talk to you. Oh my god. What do you think a girl would give you her email? The same thing with a fucking phone number. Yes. It's possible. We're gonna go to our house at like whatever time it is at night. Well, see, mm -hmm. that's some Romeo and Juliet star cost lovers shit right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm, shut up, stomach. She had to make up a lie.
Okay, my thing is Kaya. Like, well, no, because see, Kaya was the one who approached him first, and yeah, he didn't say anything. Why don't you go ahead and approach him again? There are some guys who do like that when a girl approaches them, and then some guys don't. Maybe, you, you know, Kito is the type of guy. This is Aizama we talking about. See, once again, that just sounds like a stalker, but I mean, still, it's cute though. Like, you're just like, oh my god, like, look at these two, you're so fucking precious. But at the same time, you're like, oh, like, hmm. I need to get a restraining order or some shit, but you know, it's okay. It's just love birds. <laughs> apologize to her. No. <laughs> mm. eh, that's okay. Stay lost. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think it was, you know, it was a happy cry, not a sad cry. another step up though stomach if you don't shut the fuck up oh my god <laughs> ah, i know i'm hungry i'll eat after i'll eat after this episode before i watch the next one That, you know, Shiro, you basically saying, who needs sleep? <laughs> yeah, but do we even have time, though? You can't always just rush into something. No, baby. He is just, you know, he is whipped, and I love it so much. Like, it's so cute. Mm. Damn. 
Is there a but though? Wait, he was trying to say something else though. But still, let me just go ahead and say it. Like, it's dead ass. Like, Akito should have just let him finish talking, but you know, it's okay. Oh, that was him. Seriously? Okay, hold up. Wait, 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 wait. Time out, time out, time out, time out. Isn't that a little unfair, though? And, and then watch it. He's gonna fucking choose fucking Akitos and shit on cigarettes. Like, watch it. A fucking notice, motherfucker. Okay, um. AG Singh. Very familiar. Cannot place it, but you know, I'll probably find out after I'm done watching these next two episodes. He seems interesting, though, but at the same time, he feels like a little bit of a smart ass. So I feel like, mm, as of right now, I'm probably not gonna like him. But I feel like a lot of people are gonna be like, no, no, DJ, you're gonna like him. Just give it some time. A and I get that. Like, I know we've done this in the past. I mean, mm, hell, like, when I watched freaking. Oh my god, there's so many things that I've watched from 2016 up till now, like over a hundred types of fucking anime, and there were so many fucking characters that I did not like in the beginning that by the time we finished the series, of course I liked them. Now, I mean, AD, you know, he, he's already giving me... Oh god, should I say it? <laughs> I think I might get some mad heat if I say this, so fuck it, I'm gonna say it anyway. Okay since this is also made by the same people who made Death Note. So let me go ahead and say this. Remember L? <laughs> <laughs> Your girl! Your girl did not like L! <laughs> and I still don't! <laughs> I know I'm gonna get some hate. Somebody's gonna be like, what the fuck? <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, cause like, hmm. Just like in middle school, because, oh, God, I remember I told one of my girlfriends, because we were talking about Death Note, and she had the biggest crush on Elle, and I was just like, no, it's a no for me, I'm sorry, like, I was like, I, I just, he, he didn't do anything for me, I was like, Light did, because Light, even though he was a mass murderer and such, but yeah, like, because he's, AG is very strange, just like Elle, and I just look at him, I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, you, you, you gonna be that one in the group, like, mm. but I, I felt like, you know, <laughs> like, okay, let's say both, 
channel and Kino and AD. They all go to the same high school. And they meet. And let's say AD does something really, really out of the ordinary, like the first time when they meet, and it's like that. Bruh. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, what the fuck? Like, instantly. It is gonna be, it's gonna probably remind me of L. Or, um, oh my god, what the fuck is his name? Um. Diavolo? Diavolo's consciousness. The, the dude who kept, like, no matter how many times when Diavolo would call, and he would always say, like, <laughs> do a ringing sound. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Jojo is so fucking hilarious. Every time when I watch it, I was like, "Is he okay?" But yeah, he he's a bit AG is very weird. He cool, but he's so weird. Like, mm -mm, I don't know. Get, get, I need a little more time with him. Even though technically this is now like our second time meeting him, because the first time I didn't think that was him. I was thinking it was someone else. But yeah, he he's very you know normal. <laughs> Let's say that, but something tells me that, like, if it's going the way that I think it's gonna go, he is going to be the one who's gonna end up telling, you know, Shido and Akito that, hey, I'm ending your series. And honestly, that would be really fucked up because, yes, this is officially their first loss right now, and they're going to try again and they're going to be better. And I really, once again, cannot wait to see what they do. I would love to see a horror crap of manga, please. Let, let, you know, that'd be good. I'm just saying, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, do it. But it, it just depends on, once again, how passionate they are. I mean, oh God, even making best girl cry, not once, but twice, like a sad cry and a happy cry. I'm just, I'm trying to stay positive. <laughs> I don't want to see her cry anymore because, I mean, oh my God. When you see one of your favorite characters cry, it's just like, mm-mm, you just want to kill everybody in the anime series. You're like, goddamn, like, you made her cry? What the hell is wrong with you? But I, I have no idea what the hell is going to happen in these next two episodes. But go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for episode eight. Okay, episode eight in three, two, one. <laughs> He's very extra, you know. Mm -hmm. You look up extra in the dictionary, picture of him. Once again, that is fucked up. And I mean, I would say no. So we're really going to go through with this if he gets this. Eh, he could be. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We've still got mixed feelings on him. Mm-hmm. 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 Like I said, I'm sorry. Like, he's just a little too extra for me. I mean, because, like, well, see, Elle was like that for me, too. Especially, like, no matter how many times I rewatched Death Note, it... <laughs> because it was funny, because, like, I got my mom into Death Note a couple of years ago. Um, <laughs> every single time now, if we rewatch it, or... We talk about it. My mom always likes to talk about the canon, her head canon, that L was a diabetic and he died of diabetes. 
And I was like, no, he died of a heart attack. And my mom was like, yeah, because the diabetes. And so when I watched, at the time, uh, Monogatari, and I was getting comments on Monogatari, and she came in during it, and I was talking about it, somebody was like, oh my god, yes, that's so true. I'm going to take your mom's head cannon, and I'm going to make that my own head cannon. And I'm over here like, what? Are we serious? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Nothing that interests you? I thought I don't know. Mm. But damn! So, He's not only doing it for you, he's doing it for himself. Of course. a good one though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. 
So almost like very much Ghost in the Shell type vibes. Or no, how to like Ghost in the Shell means Dorara. <laughs> Good. So, done. <sighs> I hope so. <laughs> oh, it looks so nice. Oh, I'm scared. No, 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 no. I still think he's re he's rereading it something. I don't know. Of course. But this feels like a winner.
I mean, if it seemed good to Hazardy, then, you know, you take that and you run with it. You run like you stole something, basically. I'm just saying. But uh, don't actually steal, though. <laughs> You think you're not going to win? And we're in September, so still, then it's only one time away. Oh, no, we're in October. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, that's the best thing that you have to do. Put yourself into other things while you're waiting for something else that you're really excited for. Okay, you say that, but, like, in this age of school and, you know, almost like popularity, of course it's going to matter. <laughs> I mean, hell, y'all could try a manga isekai. Mm -mm. You never know. love this show. <laughs> Oh, 
god. This is like, oh my god, when you send in a job application and you're just waiting for them to call you back, or you call them, and then you do the interview, like, oh god, that's me right now, like, Jesus. I get that feeling. Yeah, so he might not call you until tomorrow. And what time is it exactly now? No! No, 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 do not call him. Neither do not call him. Oh. Please, 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 please. So You can't say things like that, though, Shadow. Exactly. You have to pick up and move on from it. Yeah, and... I mean, you know, you don't got to be an ass about it, though. Wait, no. Exactly. So then why the fuck are you saying anything? Oh 
my god come on that could be me that could not be me like oh oh like be his ass be his ass like oh my god like see the definition of talk shit gay i mean he came up in here saying shit about Chittles artwork like it's good it's not the greatest yet but it can be it just takes time like he did so much better than his first but yeah like you can't you have no fucking right to be an ass come up into a classroom say some shit to both of them be like oh well this is probably the reason of why you know you were number one uh, you know on this and now you're number four and like the freaking minkies you're like that fuck you you fucking little bastard shit like oh my god ha 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 god that could be me be like, <laughs> girl oh boy if my kid came home crying, saying, like, oh, my God, them, these kids, like, made fun of my drawings. I'm like, oh, really? How old they is? How old are they? Oh, they're, like, 50, like, great. I'm 50, 62. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I hate assholes. I hate assholes and trolls and dipshits and uh, everything all on that line. That nice big old list. I just hate people who are so fucking mean and, and think like, oh, well, hey, my stuff is better than your stuff. So let me say you talk shit about this, this, that, and the third. Nah. I mean, because, whoo, God. Oh, that pissed me off. Like, oh, <laughs> you don't fucking know. Like, oh my god, I just, I hate people like that. I just, mm, mm. and it's, you, even as a fucking YouTuber, like, oh, oh. <laughs> you, you just like, you, you want to cut someone out. Because there's been so many times and like from when I started even till now where whether I have streamed, done my regular videos or just done something and there's always that one, that one, maybe even two, who wants to be a trolley asshole and everybody's like, no, 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 DJ, DJ, don't do it. Don't, don't listen to him. Ignore the trolley asshole comments. And I'm like, okay, okay, I'll ignore them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But sometimes it becomes a little too much. And, you know, for Ikido, that was a little too much for him. And he was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to punch the shit out of this kid. You know, I mean, because, like, for me, have I have I cussed anybody out on this? No, I have not. The, the furthest thing I've done, which in a way I kind of regret, was the situation that happened about two years ago where this girl kind of embarrassed, like, me and a whole bunch of people because we were doing a stream on Twitch and it's like that. And we, I confronted her because I was like, okay, instead of me, like, in a situation, especially when it comes to if someone is wrong and you know that they are wrong and you're like, okay, let me be nice, but then let me also be mean at the same time. You know, like, a got back up and shit like that. And... We talked, but it didn't, it seemed like it didn't get through to her. So two days later, I went on Instagram, because of course I followed this chick on Instagram, and I confronted her again about it. But you know, like, and, and I can say this for a lot of us, because we were all like this when we were kids, and some of us still do it even <laughs> when you're an adult as well. And you don't really want to hear what others who was possibly either the same age as you or older is trying to say and so you try to do like things to like ignore them and this girl was ignoring the hell out of me and so I'm like you know can you please say something to me and ish and not you know well I didn't say be a little brat or anything but like you know be like stand up and be like not a not a golden adult, but at your age. Don't act like a five, three, little kid-ish. Because you're not a little kid. You're a teenager. And it's like that. And she didn't really care. So I was like, okay, you know what? I'm not even, I'm not going to do this. But she was like, oh, can I talk to you later? We never really finished the conversation, though. But I, I like, 
threw it away and I was like, I'm kind of done because I don't feel like arguing with a child and stuff because that's beneath me. It's above me. I don't need to sit here and argue with someone to get my point across to know that, hey, you, yes, you were wrong and I was right and stuff like that. But, you know, you're always going to get people like that who want to act like children. And that's all. But, yeah, at the end of the day, you know what? Yeah, once again, you talk shit, you get hit. That's all I have to say about that. But go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for episode nine. Okay, episode nine in three, two, one, go. Which is good. No, 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 no. Let him go. Let him go. He deserves this. He, he's going to get punched. Don't worry. Here it comes. It's coming. Mm -hmm. Of course not. So why are you talking, Ish? Mm -hmm. Here it He honestly deserved it. I'm sorry. Like, mm -mm. I'm just saying. That's just me. Yeah, where's that one at? This one. That's in the back. Go in the back. There we go. Let me guess, you got suspended, right? See, the reason maybe he didn't want you guys to know is because, I mean, you know, one, it's none of your business, no offense, because let's say, for an example, you're in a nursing system or something, and next thing you know, someone's going to ask you, well, how'd you do on your tests? or how'd you do on this, and then this, and that, and the third? You don't need to know.
Really, Cody? <laughs> He's suspended for the week. Oh, we see. <laughs> you would have think, you know, Akira would have came to see you, but no, not even at the studio. You still feel like you're letting him down. Yeah. yeah. You could have proved everyone wrong. Mm-hmm. Well, not after this situation. Somebody's so up still. Oh, Grandpa, and he's drinking too. Okay. You know you can tell him anything. Hmm, it's complicated. Your dad? Mm-hmm. 
But you could get better. Don't say that. I don't think it's like that. No. He chose you for a reason. So, are you going to go visit Aguna today or no? I mean, of course it's going to happen because of the preview. <laughs> uh, yeah, because you know his other two mm, lovebirds asked for his address as well, of course. I wonder if we'll ever see his mom, like, with, you know, everything that's all that's happened to him. Oh? Well, that's good. I mean, because, like, what else is he going to do? He's suspended for a week. Oh, but you have got <laughs> this is more like a fourth wheel and <laughs> oh my god Like, okay, I understand, like, Kaya being here, but USA, like, no, because I don't think she has something for him. I mean, yeah, they have the interesting friendship or relationship, but it seems kind of one-sided. We can consider her a lovebird, but I, I don't know. Seriously? I am. 
see, yeah, like that. That's like a good friendship thing. That's not a a lover's quarrel or even a lover's relationship. What relationship, though? Don't rub it in. <laughs> yeah, are you? <laughs> mm, you do. Oh. Honestly, I feel like I don't think he's going out with either of you. But he really needs to answer that question because I'm also wanted to know as well. Hmm? Exactly. So in a way, hold on, you just kind of took advantage of her and it, that's not cool. Oh, oh okay. Exactly, you can't say that. Oh God, you just fucked yourself over, bruh. Huh. Oh. Yeah, but I, I didn't think you liked him like that. With, with Kaya, yeah, because, I mean, she blushes around him. He would say just blushed around him, like... I say Kaya. Yeah. How are you so sure about that, though? You wanted him to go to the same high school as you, so you could be together. But well, damn, that's it? Nothing else? So, Kaya. You didn't need to say that. Mm -mm. Oh. You 
shouldn't have said that. Oh! <gasps> have said anything. Sure. <laughs> I don't think it was ladies man, quote unquote, more like a player. Even though <laughs> he wasn't necessarily a player. Oh god. AG? AG. What the? Are you getting inspired by the bird? Was he inspired by the bird or was he trying to communicate with the bird? Okay. Mm hmm. Okay. We just go. We're going to take it. I, <laughs> I got nothing else to say about that. We're just going to take it. Okay. This very much between having two girls be, both be in love with Akito. And big old misunderstandings and such. I mean, yes, of course, because he had to sort it out the problem and saying, oh, hey, you know, I like you both, but if I had to choose, yeah, of course, Kaya, because Kaya seems more like the better person that he would choose automatically in a heartbeat. I feel like, it, like don't get me wrong, like, e USA is a very interesting person. I just don't think she has that chemistry that Kaya, uh, Kaya has with him. It's almost like, okay, oh god, I can't believe I'm going to compare this. Not every series needs to be, needs to have, like, their own, um, oh my god, what the hell was his name? Uh, freaking Masa Shiro and, um, Kaguya-sama. I understand that we were kind of trying to do that with this, but sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes, just because you are the number one and number two of the highest ranking in the school and such doesn't always mean that you need to be together and such. Because what if Akito didn't see it as a, you know, like a platonic, like maybe start of a romantic relationship like she does? Us as women, like, honestly, yes, us as women, sometimes we do, um, 
misinterpret guys feelings and there are some guys that i've also met ha- who have misinterpreted what um us as women have said to a guy and what we've actually meant and such but that's why i'm glad that both of them came up to him came to his house and they were like you know what we're just gonna go ahead and nip this in the butt who do you like out of the two of us because it it gets a little complicated because once again you can't have your cake and eat it too you already got one cake you can't have two you gotta have just one you can't have strawberry and chocolate and i don't know banana cake um or 7-Up cake, or Mountain Dew cake, any other type of cake, German chocolate cake, any cheesecake in it. You can only have one. And so if you choose a strawberry shortcake, you're with that strawberry shortcake until you say, okay, it's time to call it quits. Then you can go to a chocolate cake, or a cheesecake, or a German chocolate cake, or a cherry cake, Mountain Dew, 7-Up cake, whatever, float your boat, it's like that. But... <laughs> I love the fact that he got punched. (laughs) That was hilarious. Um, Okay, so the kid who also got his ass beat. (laughs) You know, that shit was funny. I'm sorry. He deserved that. Okay, so now that AG is officially in Tokyo and possibly getting inspired by a bird and running off and chasing a niche, which is probably the weirdest thing I've ever seen, you know, besides any other anime that I've seen. Also, the freaking, you know, the the Sakamoto anime, even though I have not seen that, like, I've seen clips, but I've never really sat down and watched it, and hell, me and him have the same fucking birthday, so, of course, I need to watch it, because, of course, I like to celebrate the same people with the same birthday as me, and such, but, yeah, I mean, H, you take the cake, I, I don't know, I, I'm, you know, maybe... Maybe, like, coming into summer, because we're still in the first week of summer anime as of right now, but by the time this comes out for non patreons will be in, like, the second or probably no really like the third week of summer anime we might see a weirdo again who's probably gonna be even weirder than ag but right now like he's the weirdest person i've ever seen out of the five six years i've done this (laughs) but something does tell me as i did say from the previous episode that when these two get into high school they are probably going to go to the same high school as ag so we may not see him again until maybe at least by, this is episode 9, so maybe by episode 15, or we might still continuously get to see him until, you know, our, our main heroes officially get to meet him and such. And we may get some fangirl, fanboy moments, I don't know, but of course we gotta wait and see. But other than that, guys, that's my reaction view towards episode 7 to 9 of Blackman. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel, I make videos every single day. Join the Matchroom Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons, and next Wednesday for everybody else for episodes 10 to 12 i believe but until then i will see you guys all next time bye